My subject is that uh, based on a very big picture, the very big picture is of all humanity now going through a, a transition so, so uh, unprecedented, so unexpected as to be really very difficult to comprehend. And it's not just like going through the looking glass where you get a reverse pattern of yesterday. I can tell you that there are approximately at all times now, 66 million babies in the wombs of their mothers. So 66 million is a very large number. See, it would be a, in the size of the nations, it would be a tenth largest nation in the world. I think all of humanity is coming out of a sort of a group room, womb of uh, permitted ignorance of man permitted ignorance, which is not a statement of uh, derogatory to man, but simply because it is the nature of the total process of regenerating life on Earth that the new life as born is born absolutely helpless and, and completely uninformed, though it has beautiful equipment, and being absolutely uninformed it is very ignorant. That's what the word means. And even when I, when I was young, humanity was 90% illiterate, and we've gone suddenly to almost complete 90% literacy, so that anywhere I go around the world, people have good vocabularies, and that good, those good vocabularies got proliferated by the radio, getting into the homes, and not through schools, and the television even more so, where they could correlate the words and the vision to see the objects, so that we have communication capability all of a sudden. But gradually discovering we do have this like ability to acquire information and finding there are very reliable behaviors out of the physical universe which can be employed. Democracy certainly couldn't work so long as you really uh, have, it, uh, have an illiterate group who don't really know what's going on and are leaving it to a power structure which has all the intelligence information and makes decisions without people really knowing why. So I say we're coming to this absolute new, no mo new moment when it could be that we, a phenomenon of democracy really might work. There are logical things that can be and should be done for all of humanity, which a democracy might really see very spontaneously, and that's what you just do. Now, with the information proliferation that is going on around the world, this could become a possibility. And I think that's, that is the moment we are really coming into. You're going to find, have to find out what needs to be done. How do you organize yourself to accommodate going from 1% of humanity to 99% of humanity who are now going to have to live and, and double or triple their lifespans, really give them a chance to enjoy the earth. And, and that, that, that is the design responsibility. So when you talk, hear everybody out here talking about ecology and so forth, it's because the architects were not doing anything. If I could sit, uh, tip, to, well, you'd sit around and draw some pictures out of field, if I get pretty, that's enough. You don't ever have to worry about beauty or pretty because if you really understand your problem, if you solve it correctly, so life really goes on. This is regeneration of life, and you do it the most economically, so economically it is realizable. It always comes out beautiful. That's why a rose is beautiful. It is just one of those parts of the great regenerative process where there is an a priori design of the universe that had the universe working. If you want to be in part of that, you can't miss beauty. That part, your, your joy will be there. Your joy will be just as much as it is with, with, with a beautiful sunset.